what's going on folks I'm gonna show you where you can locate your spare tire as well as how to get your spare tire down on multiple different like trucks like Chevy Avalanches um, GM's um, Yukon's and all that normally it's your spare tires would be located up underneath your vehicle and you're pretty much rear end in the back part of your truck as you can see right here and to get your spare tire down normally you'll have like a, a type of a system to where you'll take like a long I'm gonna show you okay so on this truck right here you see this spot right here you'll have a little spot where you'll just open this up and you'll see like a little key right there now what you have to do next is once you open it you want to take your key the same key you would use to unlock your door and start your vehicle turn it and that pulls out and once you have that out you'll have an opening and normally then you'll have like a system like a long pole shape it looks like it kind of looks like this right here that you'll stick inside of this hole I'm happen I'm using some vice grips on it because I don't have the action you could use like your um let's you use your your wrench that goes with it that you would use to take off your your um tire you could use that your lug nut wrench pretty much to put on the end of this but if you don't have that I'm just using some vice grips but once you open up that then what you want to do is just take it and you can see the opening you will stick it all the way down inside of it like that and you will feel it lock onto it and once you have it up now what you're going to be doing is kind of turning it to lower it i'm going to be turning it to the uh, i guess i'm going to turn it toward the driver's side that should lower it it's also an important thing about this by lowering your tire and if you don't have a flat but you may need to lower it just to check to check it to make sure that you have air in your tire because you will hate to pretty much catch a flat somewhere and then find out pretty much that you don't have air in, in your spare because it could be flat also i'm gonna go ahead and lower i'm gonna show you now so i'm doing is turn it like that i'm gonna go up underneath it again and now you can see your tire i'm gonna lower it you should see it you can see as it's coming down and like i said once you get this tire down even if you don't actually have a flat it's a good thing now to go ahead on and check your tire you want to check it and make sure you have the proper uh, air pressure in it like i said because you would hate to pretty much catch a flat and then pull this tire down and find out this tire is also flat so sometimes it could be sitting up there for years and never needed it and over that time sometimes the air may have coming out came out of it see now i have a tire all the way down so i'm just dropping it all the way down i got it all the way down Let's see if i can get inside give you a look okay see how it's all the way down now you're just going to go in there and kind of push out the bottom piece and remove that string from it then you'll be able to actually remove your whole tire out and change the tire you may have to pick it up to push the piece out i'm gonna go ahead and take it out and i'll show you what it looks like with the tire off of it all right all right so you see the tires down and you see how this part right here is swinging now you just kind of turn it to the side like that and then kind of drop it and it should pop out and now it should come out just like as you see it like that pretty much and you'll have this is the piece right here that's pretty much you got to do so what you want to do is sometimes you may have to take like a hammer or something and kind of beat it on the side can be rusted but after you do that like I said you kind of want to turn it to the side like that and then just drop the tire down the middle of that hole like I said once you have this tire down you want to go ahead on and check this tire just to make sure it has a proper amount of air in it so I'm gonna go ahead and check it now to make sure I have air in it before I go ahead and put it back up and put it back up it's a reverse process turn this to the side drop it back through the hole let it flatten out and then go ahead and spin it back the other way to pick your wheel back up to secure it up underneath your truck 
All right, folks, once again, this is how you would let down a spare tire on multiple different vehicles, especially a lot of trucks and pickups. All right, please check out another helpful video. Please like and share. Thanks.